I don't use the settle casting method, at least not yet. The way I see it, there are six stages. Phase one is create the habit of consuming content. Phase two is start reading for leisure. Phase three is start highlighting. Phase four is highlight and take little notes. Phase five is summarizing your own words. And phase six is the full Zettel casting method. That's my own map at least. Phase one is create the habit of consuming content. This means reading books, articles, or listening to podcasts. Honestly, it's kind of embarrassing that I didn't make reading a book a habit until three years ago, I think. And I'll probably create a separate video about that. But basically, I went from reading a book or two casually a year to setting a reading goal of 12 books for that first year. So I wanted to master this habit first. Phase two is start reading for leisure. So it's not just something that you check off your list because apparently this is what billionaires do. I remember in that first year, I would literally time myself in listening to an audiobook because I was still on that stage of forcing it into my routine. That changed after around six months and I actually started to enjoy it. Like it became my first choice of entertainment. Phase three is you start highlighting. This means on Kindle or a physical book. We all know that highlighting alone is not the best way to study nor retain information, but this is an important step because you start to distinguish in your brain which one you think deserves to be revisited. Critical exercise in my opinion. Phase four is you highlight and start taking notes. If you watch my write book notes real time with me video, that's basically what I did. And you know, we're getting a little bit more active here, right? So that means highlighting, then exporting to Goodreads, then transferring to RemNote or whatever your favorite note-taking app is, and then take little notes for each quote, or you know, comment a little bit on each passage. At this stage, especially if you use a tool like RemNote, you can introduce bi-directional linking in your note-taking strategy by using references and tags. I made a video about this, so feel free to check that out. It's actually kind of fun that I'm documenting my journey to building a second brain here on my YouTube channel. Anyways, as you can tell, phase three and phase four is just archiving at this point. But I recently jumped in a clubhouse room where Tiago Forte was talking about starting a second brain. I definitely felt so much better when he said using Readwise or importing Kindle highlights is still a huge improvement and most people don't even do that. I feel validated. Phase five is you summarize in your own words. I'm at this stage right now as demonstrated in my latest video, so I still save highlights and comment on them, then make another pass to summarize in my own words. No copy and pasting, and this is definitely a different level of understanding. And the last phase, I believe, is the actual Zettel casting method. This method is originally done in index cards or slips of paper and you put them in box. So in adapting this digitally, many people have different interpretations, especially across different apps. So Roam Research, RemNote, Obsidian, Notion, etc. The method usually include fleeting notes, literature notes, permanent notes, reference notes, index notes. What I haven't figured out yet is how to connect these notes to my past notes. So basically the organizing of the permanent notes, hence the retrieval process. Again, in RemNote, text references exist, tags, rem references, sources, and those have been really helpful, but I wanna figure out a system that works for me. I don't even know if I should have a consistent one. I don't know, I don't even know, I don't know what I don't know, basically. So I'm gonna explore that more. We'll see, I'm excited. Now, do I wish that I started adapting the Zettelkast method right after making reading a habit? Yes, of course. I want to have excellent notes. It's one of my dreams, you know? To make permanent notes and crystallize thoughts that I can easily pull from two years from now. But I'm also so self-aware that I know if I jumped 
from taking absolutely no notes, not even highlighting, to figuring out how that method works, I would just get overwhelmed and, and I probably would quit reading altogether because I would associate those negative feelings with the reading. So ultimately, I want this to be sustainable. You know, so take baby steps. That's just me though. I truly believe that we should treat note-taking like it is. It's a skill, right? We're probably gonna suck at it at the beginning, but the more we do it, the more we would understand how we prefer to organize information in our brain. We can experiment which method works for us and go from there. Do I think those phases three to five are a waste of time? For me, no. But if you can take great notes right away, yeah, it probably is. But this year, one of my goals is to combat perfectionism. I want to overcome the notion that I should only take action once I read all the books about it or read all the articles about that topic. Or basically, once I'm an expert. So these phases do work for me. Like this video if you can relate to me somehow and comment below if any of these stages apply to you now. I'm very curious to know. Other than that, feel free to watch any of my other note-taking videos and see you in the next one.